Hey YouTube, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for your support of Smarter News. I really appreciate it. And I'm doing my best to continue to build this community on YouTube. And one of my bad habits is jumping on Instagram stories and just doing quick stories here and there, which works for Instagram, but doesn't work for everybody else. So today I'm trying something different. What I did is I took the videos that I put on Instagram stories and I spliced them in right behind this introduction so you can see them as well. When you see a link on the video, know I put it in the description for you so you can easily access it yourself. And I'm just curious how this works for you. Does it work for me to do this? Do you like it? What sort of YouTube content would you like to see? I'm really curious to hear from you. And again, thank you so much for all of your support of Smarter News, building a solution in news, quick, concise, and nonpartisan. And I think these resources are really helpful no matter what opinion you have. So let's hit it. Hey guys, happy Monday. Hope you're off to a great start to your week. Pardon the uh, loud air conditioner that seems to be in every single hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> no matter where we stay, we are still on a little bit of a whirlwind trip. We're in the field, if you will, as a family. And I'm shooting different segments for Smarter News along the way as I as I see fit, as things come up, up that I think are important for you or interesting, um, especially some historical sites. So fingers crossed that works out for us today. Uh, this morning so far... Um, I think it's a miracle that we haven't been kicked out of this hotel. So small victories. I thought of something last night that I wanted to share with you today that I thought could actually be really helpful based on the news this weekend. You might've seen that President Biden tested positive for the virus that causes COVID-19 again. I don't have a protein bar. Okay, I'll have it in a second. Does President Biden have to deal with this? These work, this work environment? Probably not, I'm thinking no. Okay, so President Biden tests, tests positive for COVID-19 again. He was on Paxlovid, which is the antiviral that we've talked quite a, about, a lot about. One of the potential effects of Paxlovid is something called rebound. So someone um, tests positive, they take Paxlovid, they're feeling better, they're done with their treatment regimen, um, and then they, they seem to, to either feel symptoms again or test positive again, even if they don't necessarily have symptoms, which is a sign that their viral load is actually increasing, which is something that you don't want. You want your viral load to go down as you're feeling better. There's been some debate about rebound. You know, some say this is a really big deal. This shows that Paxlovid is ineffective. Others say, well, this is part, and you probably heard Dr. Rutland talk about this on our live. Well, maybe the, um, the treatment regimen needs to be changed, um, but it does work and it does help people. And this is a a small majority that have rebound. I've talked to other health care professionals that don't feel as confident using Paxlovid because they don't think that it's necessarily as effective. Remember, the hard thing to, it's easy to forget this, but the majority of people that have COVID-19, even without any sort of treatment, you know, prescription or otherwise, are going to recover and are going to do just fine. So sometimes it's difficult to know what is really working and what isn't. You have some that really believe in this antiviral treatment, you have others that are a little bit more skeptical. Either way, I wanted to show you this. There's a website that you can go to to see where different therapeutics are available in your area for treatment. One of the things we have talked a lot about with Dr. Rutland is monoclonal antibodies and his belief that monoclonal antibodies are very effective and good to, for anybody to use now. And one of the questions I've received is like, well, where do you get them? Because some doctors aren't even used to prescribing them for people. So it's good to empower yourself with where can I go to get therapeutics if I want them, if I test positive for COVID-19? So this is the link that you can use that gets you to first a government website and then a therapeutics locator. So this is the website I was just mentioning. It has some crazy long um, address. So I'm gonna link it here. What you're looking for is you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna hit this therapeutics locator. Eventually you can get to a page that looks like this. I use my zip code from where I grew up in San Francisco. So what you can see here is it gives me a list of different locations, but check this out. These are the different therapeutics that are available. So if you were looking for Paxlovid or you were looking for, this is the monoclonal antibody that Dr. Rutland recommended for our Omicron and the variant saying that it is still very, very effective. In his experience, he even took it to, took him himself. Um, <laughs> not the most easy thing to pronounce but this is something to be aware of. So this will give you an idea if it's even an option for you within driving distance if you wanted to get a treatment for COVID. Anyhow, I was still excited to find this this morning because I wasn't sure it was still available. And you know, one thing I think to remember about treatment is that it changes often. 
right? I mean, we learn, we change, we develop, the story's developing still. We're, we're going into what will be flu season in the winter. So the more information you have, the better. There's still gonna be a lot of opinions about this, but at least you can kind of poke around yourself and do some of your own research. True, are you ready to go, True? True? Are you ready to go? No. No? I'll let you know how this goes.